Oh. Are we powering our own simulated realities when we act like NPCs? I don't know about that, but the, the simulacrum itself is powered off the collective unconscious. This is why, this is why AIX likes to corral, corral us into belief systems. We're, easy, we're more easy to control. A herd is much easier to control and takes less energy than 100 cows all going in 100 different directions. From a simulation theory standpoint, you would have to provide 100 different simulated worlds for those cows. Whereas, you can keep your energy output a lot lower if you can get those 100 cows to all live in the same reality tunnel. So much, so much easier. This is why our physical, our physical world is acting the way it is. People fear pole shift. People fear the sun is turning into two suns. People fear the moon is acting erratically. People fear that they don't know the true history of the world. People fear that these agendas are being, are being put upon them to depopulate the world. People fear the Georgia Guidestones. People fear every time they watch mainstream media. They feel these negative default programs that are saturating us. People fear all these things. And the simulacrum builds a world around that. So now, all of a sudden, you know, for the last hundred, you know, all the way up until the 1980s and stuff, people, people, there was no, there was no awakened element. There were a few people here and there in every community that realized something is wrong with this world. But this great awakening involving whole social media networks and YouTube groups and people, people like me on, the, on doing the channels and all of you that are engaged in the chat. This wasn't common 30 years ago, not even 20 years ago. It's happening now, but it's causing a problem for the simulacrum. It, it's expending way too much energy feeding all new reality tunnels to people who don't believe the old paradigms. That costs a lot of energy. What, what, and what happens when the simulacrum has to borrow energy from one area, you know, borrow from Peter to pay Paul? Well, the control mechanisms that control those other phenomena begin losing, losing their, their, uh, their forms. Yes, all this sky phenomena is nothing but evidence that control systems are dying. <laughs>